Welcome to me and you outside. Hey, it's mid-August, mid to late August here in the great state of Missouri. And now is the time of the year that we like to put out food plots for deer. We don't do much food plotting, but we do just a couple little ones. Uh, but we try to put out some cameras, some um, um, game cams. Because right now the bucks are all bunched up and you really can get a good count on how many bucks are on your hunting place this time of the year. Now when the fall comes, obviously, and they're getting uh, late September, early October, right in there, and mid-October and beyond, then bucks are going to split up. They're not going to be buddies anymore, and, and, and they, it's just a different world completely. A lot of times you get pictures of bucks this time of the year, great groups of them, even big bucks, and you wonder where they went in October and November, and they scatter. They scatter sometimes a mile to two miles away, and other bucks might come in from two miles away, so you end up shooting a buck you never got a picture of, never saw, because he came in from another farm. All that stuff happens. You have to take all that stuff into account. Now, putting out game cameras, I have figured out something about that. It can be very encouraging to have a game camera out, or it can be very discouraging. And you could put one out and not get very many good pictures, and you're like, man, we ain't got no deer on our place this year. It's terrible. That's a very discouraging thing. Then you might have this encouraging part where you find these massive bucks, big old racks on your camera, and you're just, man, you are on cloud nine getting ready for deer season. Now, what I'm going to do here for you, for myself, I'm doing it anyways, whether I'm going to video it or not, I'm still going to do this, so I might as well put it on, on video, right? I have here in my hand a cell phone camera that is hooked up to a wireless network. Now these cameras, when they first sold uh, several years ago, they first started coming out when they were anywhere from $500 to $1,000 and beyond. It was the craziest thing. It's like anything else. Now everybody makes them. So the price of these has come down tremendously. Now my son bought these. He bought two of these. They came in a package of two. I think it gave like $230 for the two of them, which is really a good price for cell phone cameras. And also, on top of that, he was able to bring Bass Pro. This is from Bass Pro. Yeah, Bass Pro has, has a deal going where you bring in an old cell phone camera, or that, uh, uh, camera that don't even work. Let's say it's, a, it's just an old game cam. It don't even work. They don't care. You bring them in and trade, they'll give you 50 bucks off of that. So he got $50 off of that 230 which made about 180 bucks. That's a good price on two cell phone cameras. These are called Reveal right here. This is the X 3.0. Seemed to be a good camera. I put one out earlier. We took a, I tested it, and it seemed to have a really good picture of it. Um, so we'll see how this goes. But what I got to do here, I'm going to show you just a couple of things. Uh, oh, now by the way, when you get one of these, you're going to have to pay a uh, a fee to have this hooked up to your your uh, cell phone network. Now my son, he ended up paying eight dollars a month, and that gives him five hundred pictures. Now it's based on how many pictures you think you want your camera to receive. And he bought a, a package, it's $8 for this camera right here a month. He has a second camera that I just put that one out earlier. And that one, the second camera was $7.50 a month. So around 15 bucks a month is what you're looking at if you want to have uh, two of these cameras out, which is a pretty good deal because sometimes you only have it out, what, five, six, seven months out of the year, and then you end up, you know, taking it up or whatever. Uh, most people don't leave them out 24-7, 365 days a year. You just don't. But uh, anyways... But that's the plan that you can pick up on these. I also brought with me, because I didn't know, it's the first time I ever set cell phone cameras up, so I don't know nothing about that. So I had to bring my instruction booklet that my son had laid out before these cameras for me to pick up. They do have a QR code on there, and that just makes it real easy for setup. You just take a picture of that with your camera, or put your camera on, uh, your cell phone on camera mode, and it'll automatically take you to the website where you can set up the plan you want. It's really simple, really simple to do. And it kind of makes it uh, work out nice. So now what I'm going to do here, by the way, I'm in a little bitty lane here in my son's place that I caught a big bobcat last year that tried to attack me from a, uh, that I had a, a trap set for. And I had the trap set right here. Something's dug out a hole where I had the trap set. The clog I had that trap tied to is, is uh, right over there. Anyway, I caught a big bobcat here. He tried to attack me. And then what he did is he ran it up under the cedar tree right here. And uh, I ended up... Uh, um, uh, dispatching him under the cedar tree and this cedar tree right here is where i'm going to put this camera now if you look here i got a bunch of stuff in my way here got to cut all this out of the way i'm going to do that here in just a minute i'm going to get all these limbs uh, out of the way another thing i'm going to do you have to watch when you set a cell phone camera out that you don't have high grass in front of that camera if you do have high grass in front of that camera and the wind blows and that that, that uh, blade of grass is doing this you're going to get pictures of nothingness and it's going to be really aggravating because we are limited in the pictures we can take per camera which is 500 pictures 
Um, I don't want anything blowing in here. So what I'm gonna do here in just a minute, I'm gonna get my, uh, I got a weed eater in the back of my truck. I'm just gonna knock down the high grass here, just the high grass, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna knock it down so it doesn't uh, cause the camera to go off. I don't want it to do that. Cause that camera may reach all the way up to here. And some of that less Bediza grass right there, which is a little bit bigger. And that stuff blows around too much in a, in a heavy wind. It could cause that camera to go off and again don't want to do that don't want to waste pictures on nothingness and some of you that have done cameras know what that's like so i'm going to cut all this stuff out of here we'll get it all ready get the camera up there and uh, get it hooked up have my son test it we'll just see how this works out stay right there i'm just using a little old hand saw right here get it at walmart it's called wicked i'm telling you it's the best little saw for the money that you can find anywhere at walmart of all places i mean it is a cutting machine now i ain't kidding you See how that cuts? I'm telling you, get the cutness for a little saw, hand saw. It's the best one I've ever found. I've, I had a uh, a steel one, and it does pretty good too. And but it's twice as high in price as this as this saw here, and it don't cut any better. I promise you. Just an amazing little saw here. Did you not? This little tree right here can cause trouble. Now, we got a little locust tree right here. We just call them thorn trees growing up. That's all they were, thorn trees to us. But I'm gonna get it out of the way. My son will be happy about that. Okay. I'm looking pretty good here now. As you can see, I'm gonna point this camera. I'm gonna position this camera where it's gonna go right up this old lane right here. This is just a, a runway, it's all of this. I'm not having any, I don't have any minerals out here, nothing like that. Can't do that by law in the state of Missouri because of CW, uh, chronic wasting disease, CWD. So you can't put any kind of liquid out, can't put any kind of food. I'm telling you, you can't do nothing because of that disease they really hold tight on that all right this camera comes with a, a fantastic little strap i like this strap i like the way that you put it on the the tree it just works out really nice works out nice this is your antenna right here we'll make sure it's clear and it is. I'm probably going to get a good cell phone. I kind of want a hill here. That's pretty good uh, horizontally. That's per vertically. That's pretty pretty good right there. I like that. That's a good vertical position on this camera. You don't want your camera pointing wrong, because that'll make you mad too. And you come back to check your camera, it'll it, you'll have weird old pictures. Pictures of the tops of deer antlers. Pictures of uh, deer feet. Don't ask me how I know all that, but I just know that happens. It's just little, this little uh, buckle right here. This little uh, snap. It goes in here like so. Right up there like that. And you just pull it through because it comes through real easy. Okay. It's looking really good here. Move it around there good. Boom. 
that is pretty tight put this strap back behind there out of the way now I'm just gonna go out here and look I can tell by looking at this if it if it's pointed right I'm gonna move it just a little bit more from here to my left it's pointing straight here but I want it to point well it ain't gonna be too bad I might move it just a little bit to the left and it's about ready to go what I'll do is I turn it on from here and I'll I'll text my son he's a son he's a he's 40 35 miles away and uh, I'll text him and say hey that camera's up can you test it now this camera's pointing just down just a little bit too much I need to raise it up just a fuzz so all I'm gonna do here is just something something so silly and simple and I'm gonna take a piece of, of a stick find one right here this little stick right here and I'm gonna bring this camera out and put this stick behind it there now I believe that's going to be perfect right there shooting right up that direction I might move a little bit more to the left but not much perfect right there okay all right, it's ready to flip on here. Open it up. I'm gonna take it to set up. I put it on set up now. And what it's doing, these lines right here, it's searching for a signal. And when it finds this signal, it's gonna freeze. But it's gonna keep doing that until it gets a signal. And all these other lights tell me there's an SD card in here. It's what that says. Uh, that one there uh, says that you just basically have power on. So I'm just going to give it a minute here. It's going to keep doing this, right? It stopped. It looks like it has stopped on two bars, which probably, no, it's still, it's still going. And it may stop on two bars. It may stop on four. I don't know. It looks like it has stopped on two bars right there. Okay. It's, and it's going up to three. I hope it's thick. Oh, it's, it went to four, and I hope it stays right there. That means I have a great signal. Three, it's down to three. It's fine. I can handle three. Come on, stay there, buddy. Don't leave me. All right, I'm taking that right there, okay? Now it's turned. I'm going to put it in the on position. All I had it right there is in setup mode. See that right there? Setup right there. There's off. There's setup, and that is on. And you don't want to forget to turn it on, otherwise you get nothing. So I just turned it on. I'm going to shut this gently. I don't want to move my angle of my camera. Snapped it. You hear that? Now this camera is on. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to text my son and say, hey, second camera's out. Can you check it? And we are done. Got a picture here. My son said he got a picture of a big goober. And that's me right there. That's what he said. Caught this goober. Yep. That's what he said. There's the camera all set up. Probably getting a picture of me right now, but that's okay. It's all set up, ready to go. Taking this great picture right here. We'll see what happens. We get some pictures and all that we'll talk about it later on another video maybe but i appreciate you watching this video putting out these trail cameras it's been a wonderful time doing it. it's been a beautiful day out here about 75 80 degrees and i uh, just appreciate you subscribing to my channel hitting like button all that making comments all that stuff is really cool thank you so much thank you for being there wherever you're at in this world my friends have a good morning good day good night because there is another video and it is coming right around the corner